Today, we're tackling a big question. Is PhoneGeek just a hype or real unlocking magic? Now, while PhoneGeek might seem like a solid option for getting past that stubborn iPhone locked to owner message, also known as the iCloud activation lock, I've got some insights you'll wanna hear. We're diving into multiple ways to unlock your iPhones, iPads, and Apple Watches, all totally legal and above board. But here's the thing, while services like PhoneGeek can help, they're not the only game in town. In fact, I'm going to show you some alternatives that are not just better, but also safer, free, and guaranteed to work quicker. These methods are easy to follow, effective, and won't put a dent in your wallet. Let's get into it and unlock your device the smart way. Quick heads up before we continue. I'm here to help those who own their gadgets but forgot their login details. No funny business or illegal stuff here. Let's keep it clean and stick to YouTube's rules. Awesome, let's dive back in. Uh, when you're dealing with an iPhone that's locked to its owner, you've got a few solid options to consider. There's Unlock, here's AI-powered unlocking web app, Safe Unlocks, Lock to Owner, and iUnlock app. Each of these offers a unique approach to tackling the iCloud unlock issue. Starting with Unlock, here's AI-powered unlocking web app. It's like having a smart assistant by your side. It uses artificial intelligence to navigate through the unlocking process, which is pretty neat. Then there's Safe Unlocks, known for its straightforward and reliable method. Lock to Owner offers a user-friendly experience, making it easier for those who aren't as tech savvy. And iUnlock app, it's all about speed and efficiency, getting you access to your device quickly. These services have grown popular not just because they work, but because they offer a hassle-free approach. They're designed for those moments when you're at a loss about what to do with a locked iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch. Next up, we're going to take a closer look at how to use Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant. This part is especially interesting for those who love tech solutions that simplify life. Stay tuned for that walkthrough. It's key to know that these unlock services mainly work in first world countries. However, if you're unable to access them or choose not to use them, we have an alternative for you. Every week we give away 250 unlocks to our viewers. Here's what you need to do to be in with a chance. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, comment with your phone's model say, an iPhone 8, your IMEI number, and your country. That's it. By completing these steps, you're automatically entered into our weekly draw. To start unlocking your device using unlockhere.com, an AI assistant powered web app, first open your browser on your phone or computer. Head to unlockhere.com. When you're there, you'll meet Nifty, the AI bot. Let Nifty know you need an iCloud unlock by clicking on activation lock. You will then choose your device type, whether it's an iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch. Now it's time to enter your IMEI or serial number. For iPhones, use the IMEI number. Some iPads and Apple Watches will also have an IMEI if they come with a SIM card slot or cellular capabilities. Most of them, however, only have a serial number. To find this, on your locked device, press the sleep button, press it again, and then tap the eye icon at the bottom right corner to see your device info. Then enter that device information here to proceed with the unlocking process. Next, enter your basic information. And this is important to link the order to your account and to ensure you can receive your order confirmation. You'll get a confirmation code sent to your email later on. Make sure to agree to the terms, confirming that you're not attempting to unlock a stolen device. Before you proceed, don't forget to click I'm not a robot and complete a quick CAPTCHA. Afterward, click start process. And just like that, you're well on your way. You should receive an email with a confirmation code shortly after check your spam or junk folder too, as it sometimes ends up there. Once you've received the code, retrieve it, enter it back on unlock here, and shortly after, complete a step to confirm that you're not a robot. Then simply tap the button to validate the information and the unlocking process will begin smoothly. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So we wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And voila. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to them later on. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the next steps and just set it all up later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. Great, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. 
remove the lock from your iPhone, you have two main options, contacting Apple support with the original invoice. If you've got the original invoice of your iPhone, it's a solid way to prove that you're the rightful owner. Here's what you need to do. Find your iPhone's original purchase invoice. It should show details like when and where you bought the phone, and it should match the device you're trying to unlock. Reach out to Apple support. You can do this online, by phone, or at an Apple store. Show them your invoice and explain the situation. They'll likely ask for some more information to make sure you're the real owner. Another one is resetting the Apple ID at Apple's website. If the issue is because of the Apple ID, you can reset it yourself. Follow these steps. Head to the Apple ID account page on Apple's website. Enter the Apple ID that's linked to the locked iPhone. Usually this is an email address. Follow the steps Apple gives you. This might include answering security questions or getting a verification code sent to a device you already own. Once you reset the password, use these new details to unlock your iPhone. Both these methods are great for anyone who's got the right documents or information, especially if you bought the phone new or got it as a gift. iCloud Unlock. Software can be a solution for unlocking your device, but remember, it needs a Windows computer, so it's not available for everyone. Here's how it works. There are many iCloud Unlock software options out there, but be careful as not all of them work. You'll need to pick one that's reliable and has good reviews. Whenever you're downloading software, there's a risk of getting malware. That's why it's super important to make sure you're downloading from a safe, trustworthy source. Once you have the right software, you install it on your Windows computer. Then you usually connect your iPhone to the computer and follow the software's instructions to start the unlocking process. However, if you're worried about the risks of downloading software or if you don't have a Windows computer, you might want to consider online services like Unlock Here or Safe Unlocks. These are safer because they don't require you to download anything. You just use their websites to unlock your iPhone, which is a lot simpler and lowers the risk of accidentally getting malware. If the seller of your iPhone is willing to help, they can remove the iCloud lock for you. This method works well if you can get in touch with the previous owner. Here's a simple guide for them to follow. Uh, the seller should go to iCloud.com and sign in with their iCloud account details. Once logged in, they need to click on Find iPhone. This feature shows all the devices connected to their iCloud account. In Find iPhone, they should find and select your specific iPhone, the one locked to the owner. After selecting the right device, they need to click on Erase. This action will remotely wipe your iPhone, including the iCloud lock. Finally, they should click on Remove from Account. This step disconnects your iPhone from their iCloud account, clearing the way for you to set it up as your own. With these steps, the seller can effectively remove the iCloud lock from your iPhone, allowing you to use it without restrictions. Thanks for staying with us throughout this tutorial. We hope it has successfully provided the solutions you needed.